90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days couple Lauren Allen and Faith Gatok Chalot are about to get married if these shocking clues are to be believed. Lauren is a 33-year-old man from Las Vegas, who started his reality TV career with season 7. He signed up for the show with his 30-year-old girlfriend, Faith, from the Philippines. Lauren had always been attracted to trans women and described himself as gynosexual. He found the woman of his dreams in Lightyboy Faith from Manila, but she was out of his league Lauren still cheated on Faith while keeping her in the dark about his sexual preferences and many more things. While Faith wanted a forever with her first boyfriend in 30 years, Lauren broke her heart into pieces. Lauren's ultimate act of betrayal was telling Faith he had gonorrhea after sleeping with his friend in Las Vegas. He expected Faith to accept all his wrongdoings and agree to be with him for him to consider a life of monogamy. To the disappointment of fans who want Faith to be the new Rose Vega, it looks like she's not engaged to Lauren Lauren's end goal is marriage, even if he wants it to be an open one. He wants to have a trans wife, but it had been difficult for him to find his significant other. Lauren had decided to find love overseas. He had downloaded two Filipino dating apps and almost instantly connected with Faith. Lauren said that he had never met Faith in person, but they texted each other every day and felt very deeply for her. He liked that she was hardworking and pretty perfect in every way especially since Faith is a ladyboy Lauren explained that a ladyboy is a term used primarily to describe a transgendered woman. He liked to make Faith laugh. He could crack jokes with her all day long. Both Faith and Lauren had said I love you to each other on the first day of chatting. Faith appreciated Lauren and made him feel worthy. He was ready to spend his entire savings and go to the Philippines four months later to see her face to face while Lauren looked like he was head over heels in love with Faith, that, unfortunately, wasn't the case. Lauren knew that Faith got jealous when she thought of Lauren hanging out with other girls. Lauren shamelessly told the cameras that he didn't think Faith was seeing anybody else, but he was. Faith considered Lauren her boyfriend, and he, in turn, was sleeping with other people. Faith didn't understand what Lauren meant by him hinting at sleeping. He told her he was staying over at other people's houses, but Faith could never join the dots Lauren was going to tell Faith that he didn't believe in monogamy, but he was going to do it in person. However, Lauren has not even mentioned that he was married to someone back in 2011. According to Starcasm, Lauren and his first ex-wife had welcomed their first child before they married. They had another son during their marriage, but just two years later, Lauren's ex-wife filed for divorce. Shabuti recently shared a video of Lauren's ex-wife where she talked about being broke and not being able to afford a cake for their son on his birthday apart from his infidelity and his secret first marriage, Lauren had also not told Faith he was broke and homeless. Lauren worked three jobs and Faith thought he was such a busy man. However even the three jobs were not able to help him pay his rent. While Faith dreamed of moving to the U.S., Lauren had already decided he wanted to live in the Philippines. He only had $48 and when he flew to Manila. Faith admitted it was a big shock for her. She was taken aback by him, saying he didn't make enough money to live anywhere Lauren would have gone for the entirety of his trip without telling Faith about his cheating had he not contracted gonorrhea. A humiliated Faith broke down when her friends asked her why she looked lifeless. Faith told her friends about how Lauren got gonorrhea from sleeping with a friend at a Halloween party. Even Faith's friends knew that Faith and Lauren were together during Halloween. Faith trusted Lauren so much that she thought the woman was just his friend. I made the wrong decision, Faith cried, but her heartbreak may have led to her going back to Lauren the preview for the next episode of 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days showed Lauren and Faith meeting where the American man tells Faith that he loves her and cares about her. I want to be in a relationship with you, he tells Faith, who doesn't seem convinced, and wants Lauren to admit, every time you text me, you're having sex with them. Lauren tells her that he was having sex once a week. However, Faith's Facebook page until recently mentioned that she was engaged. It could be Lauren she's engaged to after forgiving him for his cheating ways Lauren is currently working in Las Vegas 
as a professional assistant at the entertainment production company, Derek Daniels. He also works as a backroom team member at TJ Maxx but is looking for new opportunities and is willing to relocate anyway, which suggests he's given up his plan of moving to the Philippines. However, in his recent AMA on Reddit, Lauren mentioned that he needs help finding an employer willing to sponsor an H-1B visa for someone from another country. While Lauren never shared details of the person who would be needing the visa, it could be Faith Lauren might not have enough money to sponsor Faith's K-1 visa, despite getting engaged. If he wishes to bring her along with him to America, he seems to be looking for other ways, such as letting Faith get a job by herself. Faith was dissatisfied living in her own country, which didn't even allow people to switch genders legally. Coming to the U.S. could mean Faith finally gets to live life on her own terms as a trans woman. However, will she give up her self-respect in the process and agree to Lauren's terms of having an open marriage?